this weird looking bug has one of, if not the most painful insect bites in the world. But before you grab your pitchforks to go stomp everyone you see, what if I told you that hidden in that painful bite could be chemical secrets unlike we've ever seen? This is the assassin bug, and its deadly cocktail of venom may just hold the key to defeating some of the worst ailments known to mankind. Assassin bugs get their name because they are prolific insect killers. They use that camouflage and those super, super slow movements to get the jump on their prey. And they use that really scary looking mouth part right in the front to inject unsuspecting insects full of venom. So we know that many snakes and spiders are venomous, and consequently, we know a lot about those venoms. But when it comes to insects like the assassin bug, we actually know almost nothing about what their venom can do. That's the thing about the insect world. We really don't know a whole lot about it. And insects surround us all the time, almost like living in a secret world that runs parallel to ours. It's my mission to uncover the hidden secrets of this world, and it looks like I have my work cut out for me with assassin bug venom. Luckily, I'm a nerd, and I used to be a pre-med student, so of course, I have a microscope or two lying around, and I think this will help us get to the bottom of this assassin bug venom mystery. So how do we get venom from an assassin bug? Besides being bitten, of course. Well, what's great about assassin bugs is if you really aggravate them, they'll actually kind of froth at the mouth with venom. The assassin bug I have here is the wheel bug, one of the largest assassin bugs in the world, and it's a huge female. I need to be extremely careful here because I am literally playing with fire. One wrong move and I'll get an unbelievably painful bite, and these guys can leave serious scars. But if I can pull this off, we'll be able to unlock this fearsome insect's secrets. There it goes, there it goes. Oh yeah, you see that? Right there, that clear fluid is exactly what we're looking for. Assassin bug venom. Let's put it in some blood and see what happens. Before I show you the reaction, this is normal blood. Normal donut shaped blood cells. This is what a normal blood sample looks like. Now, this is the reaction slide. What do you notice is different? Do you see those shapes? It almost looks like we're looking at a totally different kind of cell, but these are still blood cells. But what's happening to them? And what does this mean about the assassin bug venom? To understand that, we have to understand how these bugs actually eat. You might not have known this, but insects and bugs are not necessarily the same thing. I'll put it this way, all true bugs are insects, but not all insects are true bugs. The bugs belong to the insect order Hemiptera, meaning half-winged, for the hardened membrane-like forewings many of these odd-looking insects sport. These guys come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, and odds are you're a lot more familiar with hemipterans than you thought. But how the heck are cicadas, stink bugs, assassin bugs, and aphids all part of the same group? Look at their mouths. The defining feature of all hemipterans is the way their mandibles have been modified into straw-like mouthparts. Hemipterans can't eat solid food, but normally that's not a problem because most hemipterans are herbivorous. They're just sucking out plant juices. Easy peasy. But what about the predators? They're not just sucking blood. They need the important nutrients they can get from the organs of their prey as well. So how do they solve this? All true bugs inject saliva into the food they're eating to help digest their meals before they suck it up. But with predatory true bugs, they have to go one step further. They have to both digest and immobilize their prey in order to feed. So their saliva has evolved into a complex venom. Once they've pierced the outer shell of an unsuspecting insect, they immediately flood their victim's body cavity with venom. It has two functions. The first is a neurotoxin, designed to disable the central nervous system. The captured insect is quickly paralyzed, unable to move as its attacker begins to devour it alive. The second function is more insidious. To dissolve complex animal tissues, predatory true bugs have evolved powerful cytotoxins, which quickly kill and break down any cellular structures they come into contact with. This is the horror of the assassin bug. So let's take another look at this reaction. Do these look like healthy blood cells to you? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. These cells are dying. 
that that new shape we're seeing where they're kind of amorphous blobs with a bumpy surface is actually a textbook case of programmed cell death or apoptosis. This isn't like a snake venom that'll pop open some blood cells. These cells are literally being dissolved entirely. This will become a soup of just random proteins and nutrients that were formerly red blood cells. This is exactly how the assassin bug breaks down the tissues of the prey it's eating. And this is scary, but it doesn't mean we should be killing these insects on site because there's actually a really incredible medical application for this chemical process. The thing about venomous animals is they may be scary to come across and their bites may be dangerous, but we actually have a lot of uses for the toxins they create. Snake venoms are used in pharmaceuticals around the world. Most notably, the way we use copperhead venom to help treat breast cancer. These are one of the most common and consequently most hated snakes in the southern US, and yet their feared toxin helps save thousands of people every year. Spider venoms have been tested and used effectively as non-addictive pain treatments. We don't know as much about insect venom as we do spiders and snakes, so naturally we have fewer medical applications, but this doesn't mean we'll never find any. In this slide, we are seeing apoptosis at scale after the assassin bug venom was added to my blood. While we've known to a degree assassin bug venom can be cytotoxic, this footage is brand new to science. The effect of large assassin bug venom on human cells has never been recorded on video, only in the pain of incidental bites. So what does this mean? Prior to seeing this, uses of the venom in human medicine weren't immediately obvious, but now that we can see the true potential of these wonderful little insects, there may actually be applications in the treatment of cancer. This is my grandma Camille. When I was really little, she used to take me to the park so I could catch bugs. She didn't necessarily like bugs, but that little encouragement went a long way. This is my grandma Sharon. She liked bugs even less than my grandma Camille did. I can still see her face when I would bring this jar full of wriggling things in from the yard. Now, she wasn't into bugs, but, but she was super creative. Um, I loved sharing my drawings and, and writing with her. And I think she's one of the biggest reasons why I started making videos in the first place. What they both have in common, besides being my grandmothers, is by the age of 19, I had lost both of them to cancer. Whether you've lost someone yourself or know someone who has, cancer seems to be this horrible thing that touches all of our lives. And while our treatments aren't perfect, we're innovating them all the time. One of the main ways that chemotherapies kill tumors is, believe it or not, the same way the assassin bug kills its prey, programmed cell death apoptosis. And let me tell you, the assassin bug is good at liquefying its prey. Imagine if we could harness the power of this insect to melt away tumors, just how this single droplet of venom obliterated my blood cells. A study in 2021 proposed this, and I'm proposing it as well now. More work needs to be done with assassin bugs to unlock their tumor killing powers. They may be creepy, but one day in the future, someone's grandmother may live because we've learned to work with these frightening insects instead of against them. The next time you see an assassin bug, just remember that they really don't want to use this incredible venom on people. It's meant for their prey. So as long as we give them their space and leave them alone, they'll leave us alone. Like all other insects, these guys are just a part of the secret world that surrounds us every day, and their medical uses aside, they're an important part of our ecosystem. We don't know what the world would look like if these insects were to disappear forever. As of right now, their venom is still very much a mystery, and I'm hoping that we will be able to continue to work and unlock their secrets in the future. But not all assassin bugs are this useful to medicine. There's actually one group of assassin bugs that you really don't want to have around. Their incredibly nasty reputation is absolutely earned. Those assassin bugs are known as the kissing bugs. And if you'd like to learn more about them, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.